That one was quicker than I had intended it to be. I accidentally hit the pause or stop button. So, Kako Spun has an absolute advantage in grass. In absolute terms, it takes him less time. Kako Spun has an absolute advantage in flowers. It takes him less time. And so the usual question we would have is, should Kako Spun ever trade with Kakalan? Again, in this world where we have only two tasks. And our typical answer, of course, would be no. Right? Kakosman is better in everything than Kakalan. But let's see if we can maybe figure out some ways, some possible traits. So maybe instead of doing any of the grass, Kakosman could specialize in the flowers and Kako. Alan could specialize in the grass, in which case it would take Kakalan 240 minutes, no change, and it would take Kakosman 160 minutes. Clearly, their Kakosman is worse off. Right? So that's not a good way to specialize. Maybe we could try something else. We could say, um, how about if Kakosman specializes in the grass and Kakalan specializes in flowers? Well, at that point, oops, so this is our default. We had 120, and so in this case, Kakosman now has an extra 40 minutes to sit around and drink tea. Kakalan, on the other hand, it still takes him 240 minutes. So in this case, Kakosman is better off, but Kakalan is not. However, you start to say maybe there are some gains to be had from trade here. Somewhere in here, Kakosman has managed to save himself 40 minutes of time. Now we could try, right? I mean, that, that clearly they're better off. Maybe we need to do something. Uh, maybe Kakosman, let's try this. He takes care of two flowers, sorry, two grass, and he takes care of a half a flower, at which point it takes him 120 minutes, which leaves Kakalan with one and a half flowers, at which point it's going to take him that would be 180 minutes, right? One and a half times that. So, in this situation, Kakosman is no better off. Kakalan, on the other hand, is a lot, more, a lot better off. So, huh, so somewhere in here there's gains to be had from trade. Now, where exactly is that point? Let's try, again, what we would want in, in order for this to happen. Now, Kakalan probably is a, you know, he was a nice guy. He probably would have been happy to let Kakosman have all the extra time. Kakosman was a pretty decent guy as well. He probably would have let Alan have all the gains from trade. <coughs> but analytically, it would be nice if we could figure out some way in which they would both be better off. Now, one place where that would be, it turns out, would be when Kakosman takes care of all of all the grass and takes care of a quarter of the flowers. In that case, it will now take him 80 minutes for the grass plus 20 minutes for his part of the flowers, which would yield 100 minutes. On the other hand, Kakalan here, uh, that's going to be, I think, 210 minutes. Are they both better off? Yeah, Kakalan has saved half an hour of his life. Kakosman has saved 20 minutes. Again, there's a lot of different combinations. What we would like to be able to maybe come up with a better way of thinking about this than necessarily just trying a whole bunch of combinations. So let's see if we could put this. Now again, what we care about as economists is the value that we're giving up. So maybe now we think about this not in terms of minutes, but in how much of the other activity we give up. So here we had 40 and 80, 120 and 120, All right? So when Kakosman takes care of the grass, how many flowers does he give up? 
Well, in 40 minutes, he could take care of half of a flower. And in 80 minutes, how many grasses could he have taken care of? Well, in 80 minutes, it turns out, he could have, hopefully you can see, he could have taken, in 80 minutes, he could have taken care of two grasses, because it takes 40 minutes per grass. On the other hand, Kakalan here, in 120 minutes, he gives up one flower. And in 120 minutes, he gives up one grass. So if we think in terms of opportunity cost, the opportunities that they give up, in absolute terms, in, in, ter in terms of the amount of time it takes, Kakosman is better than Kakalot. However, when we think about the opportunities, if I get a different colored marker here, who has the lower opportunity cost of taking care of the grass? Takes Kakosman gives up half a flower, Kakalon gives up a full flower. So, it makes sense that Kakosman has the comparative advantage in terms of opportunity cost, comparing them, comparing how long it takes them and the time and energy to the other things they could be doing, and then comparing them to each other, we now have a situation where Kakosman is better at the grass. Now that's not too surprising, that's what we came up with before we got into all of this. In absolute terms, Kakosman is better, and in comparative terms, Kakosman is better. However, now when we get down to the flowers, it takes Kak Osman two grasses to take care of one flower. On the other hand, it takes Kak Alon one grass to take care of a flower. So now who is better at that? Who is more effective, more efficient? Who has a, an advantage? In this case, Kak Alon has the advantage. So we could say he, right, in comparative terms, compared to the other things he could be doing, and then compared to Kakosman, Kakaland is the best in taking care of the flowers.